wildlife officials on the hunt for a mama bear. So many people here are absolutely heartbroken. That bear attacking a woman in Longwood. It's not the bear's fault. The woman survived, but the bear may not. Traps are out, but neighbors are actually trying to save the bear. The news station's Brian Scott is there live right now. Brian, what's the hubbub? Well, check it out. This is in this busy 434 corridor, but over here, that's actually where the neighborhood is. Take a look beyond that fence. It looks like a small forest back there. Neighbors tell me they try to keep it very natural over there, very animal friendly, and they are livid that that bear might be killed. It's just, it's a sad situation. So many people here are absolutely heartbroken. To see it happening in their neighborhood again. Very frustrating. And not the possible bear bite, but the possibility another bear will be put down here. I think it would be horrifying if they kill that mother bear. The one many Springs residents report seeing with her two cubs, and that many are skeptical here actually attacked on Tuesday. My wife was out walking our, our dog, uh, just let the dog out and was attacked by a, a, a bear. That was the 911 call. According to police reports, the victim says she had her dog off leash when the three bears ran at them. She fell twice, she says, before she thinks the bear bit her heel. But she admitted in that police report she wasn't certain that bear actually bit or scratched her. But because it's a reported attack, the Florida Wildlife Commission says the mama bear must be euthanized if caught and the baby bears relocated. They've got traps set for her now. Tons of love for the bears here. Nobody wants to see this mama bear die. Angie Beer's among the many here trying to change FWC's mind on this one. This is a great place where people and nature really do coexist. They only use bear-proof trash cans here. Volunteers hand out bear whistles and bear education. They say living shoulder to shoulder with animals is just part of life in the springs. I have seen so many bears killed in the last five years in this neighborhood, but it's always the resident doing what we've been told not to do. It's not the bear's fault. The bear did not stomp her into the ground. The bear did not attack her dog. And I think FWC is really kind of overreaching at this point. Now, I did speak briefly with that victim on the phone today. She basically said her bad. She should have had her dog on a leash. And she said that she, too, wants to coexist with the bears out here. Now, I did talk to the neighbors. They said that they have a meeting set up next week with FWC to talk about this. And they hope to convince them to save that bear. Live in Longwood, I'm Brian Scott, Fox 35 News.